Hi, Mavis here from Dayspring Quilt Company. I'm just um, doing this short video today. Um, I'm working on this light custom quilt for a customer where she wanted stitch in the ditch and a motif, the, the same motif in each hexagon. So Quilt Path, the system that I use on my APQS Millennium, has the ability to do um, a tracing in multi-point placement to do the ditch work and toggle between the ditch work and the actual pattern where you're stitching down the motif. So this video uh, will show you a short demonstration of how I do that. I ta totally love this feature in Quilt Path because I am not that great at ruler work and um, this is instead of ruler work and it makes me very happy. So here we go. Let's see what I am up to here. So on the screen, this is the last hexagon that I placed right here. So I'm going to start by removing all. It's been a while, there we go. Now you can see that the hexagon is in the center. And <clears throat> in order to place the, the frame around this block, I am going to have to lower my needle just slightly, which is a trick that I kind of came up with myself. Nobody told me to do this, but my eyesight's not super great. And I want to make sure that I'm as close to this corner of the hexagon as possible. So right now I am going to be going around all of those points around the hexagon using um, multi-point placement. So now that you know what I'm doing on the fabric, I'm going to just show you the screen. I don't have a camera person right now, so I'm a one lady show here today. But I am going to start, you have to start this in pattern. Um, and you basically just have to bring one block in through um, select and sew which, you know, I'm presuming that the people that are, are watching this video have some familiarity with Quilt Path. So I've brought in my motif called he Cute Hexy 25. I'm sorry, I can't remember the supplier, uh, but I'm sure you could Google it and find it online. Anyway, I've got my needle in the first corner, the start point of where I want my stitching to start. At this point, I'm switching from pattern to ditch. And you can watch as I move, I'm moving my needle on the fabric over to the next point and tapping add point. You can see that the first line has been drawn there. That is where it's going to stitch out. I'm trying to make it as invisible as possible on the quilt top and accuracy is everything at this juncture. Add point, you can see the hexagon starting to form there add point and now I can just simply hit close polygon and I'm going to go to that first tap point and insert my needle pull up my bobbin thread and now I'm just going to switch the camera down because I'm ready to sew do the stitch in the ditch on here and sew Sorry about the handle in the way. Hope you get the idea. I don't know about you, but I think that looks pretty darn good. And then I am going to go back up and tap finish pattern. Pull up my bobbin thread to give me some more tails to bury later. So now, I just wanna make sure that you can see this. Now I'm ready to actually stitch the motif. So I'm going from ditch back to pattern. And you can see now that the green line is shown there. Um, and the the motif is inside those that boundary. So that's what I want. That's good. And I'm going to go to move to start point. And it 
It's going to go to the center, which is perfect. Just going to move these handles out of the way. That's better. Although I need to hit that down button a little bit. Pull that thread out of the way and hit sew. So I'm, you can see I'm holding this long tail thread. I, uh, I don't want to cut it off because I'm going to bury it later. But I want to make sure that this gets, the stitching is to a point where I can lay it out of the way so it doesn't get stitched over. Tips and tricks. So as I said, this is being stitched out on my APQS Millennium with Quilt Path. And uh, I've got my scoop foot on just because I've got some raw edges that I don't want to get snagged. Now that that's done, I'm just going to move my thread into that quadrant and wait for it to stitch the rest out. I'm using Glide 40 weight light gray in the top and a Magna Glide um, light gray bobbin on the back. finished. So now I'm going to tie off that thread tail to bury later. And then I hit remove all to start on the next hexagon. So that's just a quick demo of how I do multi-point placement um, in my custom quilting. I um, hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. There's the rest of the quilt. So that's my little canvas for today. I'm really excited. Love, love, love this quilt. My customer did a beautiful job and love the neutral palette. Those look more like um, tumblers, but trust me, they are hexagons. So we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me.